Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna to continue our Model 3 versus Model X or Hardware 2 versus Hardware 3 comparison. I actually did this exact road and route in my Model 3 in a video last week. Actually not this bit, this was where my camera overheated. Um, so you can compare how the Model 3 did with how my Model X is going to do. So you can see these are pretty tight, pretty intense corners here. And the Model X was able to do it, but it did have to slow itself down a couple of times uh, to get around those corners. Uh, and that's of course because of the EU or UN law, whichever it is, I'm kind of over it. I just want it to be sorted out. And uh, I hate to say the word revoked because you hear it a lot in the news, but I wish they revoked that and not the other one. Anyway, um, so we're gonna see how well it does. On Navigate on Autopilot, debatably, this did better, which is strange and I actually think it might do roughly the same as the Model 3 uh, did on this road, which should be no stopping. So I don't think I turned off autopilot once, except for the traffic lights in the Model 3 video, and I'm expecting to pretty much do the exact same thing in the Model X. I'm gonna do the same speeds, which is roughly 50 or 40 all the way. I don't really do 60 on these roads, uh, especially not on autopilot. And hopefully if the traffic's good to us and no one does anything crazy, it should be just as successful. And this is very much a daily drive for me. This is somewhere uh, that I drive a lot. So it's a, it's a road that I've autopiloted on before, but you know, it's just a nice, easy road, I guess, to drive on. Now, the sun is absolutely beaming down on us, but you'll remember it was beaming down in the other videos as well. We're hitting some puddles there and we've got a little bit of a squirter onto the screen. So wipe that off. But I have actually tried this in some pretty wet weather and some pretty flooding weather as well. And Autopilot works quite well with water until the whole, well, like if both lines are submerged underwater, it has a little bit of a fit. But otherwise, it's quite good. So this is a slight blight, blind right turn. Oh yeah, a little bit late, but it kept us in lane and was able to do it. You can see the car parked on the left there. I wonder if it's gonna pick it up at all. No, it didn't pick it up, but it wasn't bothered by it. And what you will see as well is, I think the Model X is a lot better at picking up other cars coming on the other side of the road. Now, I'm not saying it picks the correct car, and I don't know if it can select things like pickup trucks yet. I haven't actually looked. Here's some more puddles. Oh, interesting, we've got quite a lot of, <laughs> Quite a big squirter on that one. Let's uh, just wipe that off. But again, as you can see, it's still, even with that on there, it's still really steady and it's still doing this really nicely. We've got a car coming across the lane here. What's the car gonna do? It broke quite hard, but that was, that was okay. I wish it didn't and I wish it did that a little bit more smoothly, but it did the correct thing in slowing down. So, you know, I can't complain for that, obviously. And it didn't seem to have any issue with uh, water coming on the screen. And that was a lot of water, so. That's okay as well, I guess. But yeah, so I'm gonna watch the screen down here a little bit and just see how well it picks up other cars because the Model 3 would pick up maybe one in three, let's say. Whereas this, yeah, pick that up. Is it gonna pick this up? Yeah, it's picked that up nice and early as well. I'm gonna slow it down myself here. And hey, look at that, it did it all. No problems. Oh, come on, let us go through. Are we gonna be able to go through here? If it follows the car in front, we might be all right. Yeah, it is. Guys, we're not gonna even stop. All right, this is working out so far better than the Model 3 performance, which is pretty crazy. So we got really blinding sun, but can it pick up that car? It still did pick up that car, although it was right at the end. Wow, that is insanely blinding sun. Sorry if you can't see anything in the camera. I'm not God, I can't move the, 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 the sun, sadly. I need to turn my aircon on though, because it's getting a little bit um, steamy in here by the looks of it. Oh no, that's making it worse. Come on, aircon. There we go, that should be all right. But still, it's doing really well down here. We are currently sat at, uh, it was three notches behind uh, the car in front. I'm gonna put that to two notches, just because we're going a little bit slower. But I'm more than happy at 50 down these roads. I don't think you need to do 60. Again, it does go in all the puddles. It's, it's not gonna try and dodge any puddles for us. And don't forget also, this is with my Model X with a slightly fogged up rear uh, camera, or at least when I started this journey, it was fogged up on the right. So I'm intrigued to see how that works. And I honestly, 
honestly knew this, but I think it's because of the air suspension as well. This feels a way nicer ride on autopilot. Maybe it's because you're higher up as well, but it, it just seems, <laughs> it seems better and it seems a lot more sturdy. The one issue with the Model X obviously here is its absolute size. It's got quite a bit extra girth than the uh, Model 3 had in, in every angle, in every dimension. So it is obviously down tighter roads. It is a little bit more nerve wracking. But again, like I said, sometimes I feel it does it better. Okay, so the Model 3 didn't slow down for this corner how I would like it to, and it went over slightly. The Model X is also not slowing down, so I'm gonna bring it down to 45 myself. And you can see that the Model X did brake, and it did pretty much the same as what the Model 3 did. In fact, this never went over the line there, and I'm pretty sure the Model 3, you'll hear by the cat's eyes, went over the line. So I'm gonna say that's a win for the Model X. We'll bring it up to 60. I just wanna, I wanna try and keep up with this guy kind of as best as I can so that he can regulate our speed. All right, another pretty tough corner for it here. I brought it down to 45 in the Model 3. The Model X has, yeah, it's braking. Oh, wow, okay, that's gone all the way down to 28. There's no one behind us, by the way. Everything is checked and safe. And you can see there, yeah, that didn't do that anywhere near as well as the Model 3 did. So that's quite interesting. It needed to slow itself down a little bit more than it was thinking there. Bring it back up to 50. And this is where we get into a 30. So again, it's not gonna slow itself down for us. So set it 30, nice and early. Is it gonna see the bus as a bus? Yeah, it saw the bus as a bus very, very early on. It sees that car. I'm just gonna say, I think it's a lot more solid in a lot of areas in the Model X, in Doom. Doom is actually doing pretty well. Again, even down these very windy but tight roads, it's really quite nice. Sometimes it, it almost turns so tight and then other times it seems like it's not gonna turn at all. It's really weird. But again, this is, uh, I actually, loads of people commented uh, when I said this was an issue. For example, here, naturally we all would start accelerating up to 60. As you can see, he started to accelerate. Whereas I'm still at 30, I'm still at 30, I'm still at 30, still at 30. Now I can bump it up to 60. See what I mean? How, how long I have to wait to get that to start going. Now you can use the accelerator pedal to override that pretty much and make it a little bit better, but then you know, you're, you're putting your foot in and, and you're putting more, um, uh, you're doing more of the work. But still, we've not had to turn off autopilot yet, which is good. Whoa, it's braking, it's braking. Okay, it's braking there. Really hard, that was braking really hard and didn't feel right. I'm not sure what it was braking for. Again, really nice around the corner where it used to have loads of troubles. And through here, it's just cruising nicely. So I'm gonna set it to 60. I'm gonna set it to three clicks back from the car in front. And that should give us a nice real world version of what whatever someone that buys that car would drive, which is 60 actually. Oh, they're actually coming off here. So this is, is gonna be really good as well to see how it does this. It's braking quite hard. Yeah, and it stopped nicely behind this car. And as it gets out of the way, the car starts to accelerate again. And it's starting to pick up speed relatively slowly. Actually, really quite slowly. But still, not too bad. This is so bright. Again, I can't see uh, hardly a thing in front of me. This is a tight corner. I think I brought it down to 45 in the Model 3 video. It's a horrible little corner for autopilot for some reason. Yeah, go on, tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. Yeah, it did it, it did it, we're okay. And then I think I just pumped this up to 60 to get down all here. So again, this has worked really well on A-Roads. 
yes you have to baby it you have to up and down the speed limits and it doesn't do all of that by itself which is really really annoying because i don't want or i don't care about seeing cones on my screen i care about it going around a corner so let's try and maybe focus on that rather than the little gimmicks and uh, the slowing down speeding up around corners and also just cornering obviously better definitely is something it needs to be worked on on the a roads but otherwise i think if it could do that and obviously red lights and stuff but it says it will do that by the end of the year it's doing it really really well and it's come it's come across just leaps and bounds bring this down to 50 for this corner again i don't want to have to be doing that actually i'm going to bring it down to 45 quite a tight corner Whoa, oh my gosh yeah that that was i think that would have just about curbed maybe but that was way too close to my liking that's a real shame it'd been doing so well i think it was probably because of the light and because of all of the sunshine that it really had a little issue with that little area but otherwise like i said it's been really really quite solid now keep this at 55 around this corner and see what it decides to do it should, I think it should be able to take it at about 50. Yeah, 53, not a problem. It did come up with a beep again, which is annoying. But otherwise, it was still pretty steady. Now, we do lose some lines here. Is the car going to focus itself on the left line, or is it going to bounce around? No, even with this, it's really nice and solid. So we're coming up to the end of my journey now, and we're nearly back home again, which is great. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section how well uh, you think this did, and how well you think it did compared to the brand new Hardware 3, um, which is questionable on, at the moment, how much different it is. Until next time, thank you for watching. Don't forget, drive safe.